Hello and welcome back to Garen Reaver's Top 5. Today I'm going to be talking about my Top 5 Garen Reaver series. Before you cry narcissism, each month my patrons can vote on one of the upcoming Top 5s. I ran out of ideas and I put this in and it won. So they voted for it and here it is. I have done a lot of series over the years. These are my personal favourites to record, edit or just talk about. One thing to remember, these are my personal opinions, so please don't tell me I'm wrong. And obviously I have seen them all because I made them all. Number 5. Pokey Sins. <gasps> How is this not number 1, right? I hear you type. Well, it's not my passion. I'm a gamer, and I find making the gaming series much quicker, easier, and, and just more fun for me. Doesn't mean I don't like Pokey Sins. It lets me express my personal brand of dry wit in a very distilled way compared to sort of gameplay commentary. It also allows me to revisit things both nostalgic and some new things, all the while helping my channel grow impressively. Don't get me wrong, I don't regret starting Pokesins at all. I just regret feeling the need to parody CinemaSins when I did, instead of doing it my own way. That's why I'm so particular about it. I made the effort to distance myself from my mistake, and most people respect that, and I'm very grateful to them, so please be sure you're one of those people. Number four. First Impressions. This series is only possible because of Keymailer, which is a website designed for YouTubers and streamers, and it will periodically send them free keys for games to do videos on. This series gives me a chance to try out the hundreds of untouched games in my library, and with Keymailer it gives me newer games, different games, games I would never have tried. Doing my first impressions has helped me discover fun games to play like Subnautica, and it's even opened the door to full series like Slime Rancher, that was one that I got from Keymailer. Granted, not all of the games I do my first impressions on are good, but sometimes those are funnier. I have it as a goal on Patreon so that when I reach a certain point, I should be able to do first impressions on new AAA games. I should be able to justify buying these new AAA games for first impressions videos. So that's something to look forward to. Number three, Co-op Payday the Heist. This was the first ever split view series on my channel. The view is split between the four members of the Tuapio crew, that is Evan, Charlie, Peter and me. Before recording, we'd played it together a lot, so I really think it flows. It was a nightmare to edit with the four views, the four audio, and having to switch between them to show the key parts of the heist. But overall, I think I pulled it off. We did have big plans for a co-op Payday 2 series. It's just a shame that Overkill's terrible business model has forever tainted the game for us. These days, Payday 2 is so stuffed with stupid things that shouldn't be there that I don't know if I will ever play it again but we still have our Payday 1 series with a coordinated, experienced team. Number 2. Gary and Reaver vs Slime Rancher If I'd started playing Slime Rancher when the game was complete, it probably wouldn't make this list. It's on here because I've been able to see the game grow through all the different versions after doing my first impressions on it ooh, bloody ages ago. Sometimes when I cover indie games, I know the devs have watched the video. Sometimes they comment on it, sometimes they message me outside of it. But I never know if Monomi Park is watching, but I like to think they are. Despite what some of you may think, I've genuinely never looked on the wiki in the entire run of the series. So I don't even know if the things I've suggested are agreed collectively. It's just that some of the things I have specifically suggested, like the market link, I didn't give it the name market link, but I suggested the premise, have made it into the game. I don't know if that is a coincidence or what, but I like to think that the devs have been watching my videos. It has been so fun running this series alongside its development, and it makes me want to find another early access game to do the same with, now that Slime Rancher is going into full release. And finally, number one. Far Wind Stranded. Far Wind isn't my first attempt at mixing survival gameplay and a story. I've tried it before with Tech Town, which had very loose story elements, and Voltec, which had a much more integrated story, but I feel that Voltec suffered for it. Far Wind, however, I think strikes a balance. Never before have I had people theorising about the story in my series, and reading the comments about people's reactions to the things that happen, or might happen, or have happened, as a YouTuber and a writer, it is so gratifying. I have big plans for the series, and I've also planned out how it will end, but not when. That's sort of up to the interest, really. Of course, I won't give any spoilers. And that is all for my list. 
Every single playlist I've mentioned can be found linked in the description in alphabetical order. Please comment with your favourite of my series and also comment suggestions for future top or bottom fives. Remember that you can also vote for next month's top five by pledging to my Patreon which is also linked in the description. Thank you very much and I will catch you later.